Mountains are really important in the biblical storyline. Um, you could actually tell the whole story of the Bible through mountains. Have you ever thought about that? Do any of you like hiking? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not about hiking. <laughs> it's about a place. Mountains are, are kind of these uh, uh, temple, natural temples in the Old Testament. So think about the biblical storyline. Adam is placed on a mountain as the place of meeting between God and humanity. Right? Then he's exiled from the mountain. He goes into exile into a world of death. Um, and then you get this new Adam figure in the narrative, which is Noah, whose boat lands on a mountain. And then Noah is given the commission to go out into all the world. And then from there, you get this fake mountain, Babel, where people try to ascend to God on their own initiative, false religion. But from there, then, you get Abraham in the mountain of Moriah, where sacrifice is made. Right? And then from Abraham, you get the people of Israel who go to Mount Sinai and meet with God at the mountain of Sinai. But Israel's history, we know, eventually comes to Mount Jerusalem, where David is installed as king. But then the people sin against God, and they go into exile of death again into Babylon. And then out of Babylon, God promises he'll bring them where? To Mount Zion. And guess what Hebrew says? You have come to Jerusalem above. 